In this video, we are going to see about the nesting of structure. Already in the previous video, we have seen uh, how to declare a structure and how to access the members of the structure. Now we are going to see nesting of structure. What do you mean by nesting of structure? When a structure is defined with, uh, as a data type within another structure, then we call it as nesting of structure. So for example, here we have the structure called date. Okay, which consists of day, month, and year. Now we are going to, uh, this is a, we are going to declare this as another data type within a, another structure called student. So structure student is defined here, role number, name. Now see here, this date is defined here, we are defining, just like how we have defined character in, we are defining this structure inside to consist of a date, to not declare a data birth of the students. And we have given the variable, structure variable here. The name of the structure variable is DOB and the structure is struct date. So date is of type structure. Now, so you can declare like this. And finally, in main program, we declare structure student S1. Now we'll see how to enter data for this DOB and how to uh, uh, see the value which are stored in this uh, structure within structure. Now see here, I have written only those code, enter the date, so for this. Okay, all these things you know how to get the input for roll number name and all by the dot operator. That is, since we have declared here as S1, S1 dot roll number, S1 dot name, S1 dot branch, S1 dot mocks, like that, you can receive the data and you can see the uh, whatever the data stored it also. Now, here we, are, we, we would like to know how to access because there are two structure that is one is outside is s1 and inside is dob so within dob you have to access all these things so how we can check by using two dot operators so you see here enter the date s1 is the outside structure okay then dob which is nothing but the inner structure so then s1 dot dob dot day is the variable which we have defined within the date like this, you have to access the S1 dot DOB dot day, S1 dot DOB month, like this, you can access. So how to, uh, how, like this, you have to get the data for those nested structure and then printing the value, it is similar, same. So S1 dot DOB day, S1 dot DOB month and S1 dot DOB year. Now we'll see this with an example. There is a coding. Now this, this is the program. Okay, so here we have defined, uh, I just increase the font size. Okay, so now here stdo.h, all these are defined. Here we have defined the date and then we have defined the structure called student. And within that we have declared a data type, day, uh, which is of structure date. Okay, so we have given a name for the structure variable as DOP. Now, so in the main program, we have declared struct student S1 for this outside. Outside structure only, you will define the variable. Because the inside structure, you will define the variable for this structure. So no need to declare it outside. So using this only, you have to access that. Then enter the student roll number. Here we get the roll number. So you know how to access the data. S1 dot roll number. See here, this is S1. And this is roll number. So S1 dot roll number, S1 dot name, enter the student name, enter the student of date of birth. So here first we get the date. So S1 dot DOB day, S1 dot DOB month, S1 dot DOB year, and so on. Then we get the for branch and marks. Now how to print the value details of the first student. Now we are printing it. Again, we have used this modifier that is access specific percentage D, uh, S1 dot roll number, name, and see here, date of birth. So percentage D hyphen this this is this will come as such okay so in percentage D the, the day will be substituted in this percentage D this month will be substituted and so on then S1 branch and S1 marks now we'll see how uh, how this program works yes now I'll show you how to get the input so now first I am getting giving the input. So now see here, it is getting asking for data path. So now I have to give the data path. Date, one, two, CSC, mark. 
see the output detail of the first student see it is giving printing whatever the value which you have given see here this is the date format i have printed okay so this is how you work with the nesting of structure 